Hello everyone, this is an animation I've created using Wigglebone in Blender. I'll show you how I used Wigglebone. The main animations are done manually, while the animations for the tail, wings, and limbs are handled by Wigglebone automatically. Next is the process of my manual animations. If you're interested, you can follow my step-by-step -step process, or you can just skip ahead and directly watch the Wigglebone setup.
Firstly, please install Wigglebone. You can download it for free from the website I'll provide. I've already installed this add-on, version 1.5.0, which perfectly matches my Blender 3.31. Once enabled, you can see it in the Bone Properties panel. Select the bones you want to apply physics solving to. Note that whether you've already set up animations on your bones doesn't affect Wiggle Bones solving. Open Wiggle Bone, hit play, and see what happens. Since we're making a looping animation, let's uncheck Reset on Loop. Adjust the stiffness and stretch to see how it looks. I think the tail is too heavy. Let's decrease the gravity. That seems better. Maybe we can fine tune it a bit more. Thinner parts of the tail should have lower stiffness. Well, let me see where things went wrong. Sorry about that, just missed a zero. Okay, it's nice. Next, let's add Wiggle to the wings. Take a gander at the whole animation. The pacing of my animation is a bit off. Let me quickly adjust it. Okay, smoother and better now. Now, let's bake this wiggle animation. Baking serves two purposes. One, importing for game engines. Two, ensuring desired results when rendering animations in Blender. In the global settings, uncheck additive bake. Select all bones with wiggle bone applied. Shift select their parent bones. Then, shift select the remaining bones. Click bake. Okay, it's done.
all bones are now baked. Next, using the same method, let's add wiggle to the dragon's arms and legs. Afterward, I'll explain the specific meanings of wiggle bone parameters using a short animation. I've already created a small animation. Now let's add wiggle to the upper four bones. Play to see the animation. Open the loop and check. You can see these bones stretching. Setting stretch to zero removes the scaling effect. Stiffness controls the animation's hardness. Lowering it makes the animation look softer. Note that Wiggle Bone automatically adds wiggle to root bones as well. You can disable it if you don't need it. Dampening controls bone movement resistance. Higher values make the bones appear lighter. Amplitude rotation sets the maximum rotation range. For amplitude translation to work, we need to disconnect bones. Let's play and check the animation. Bones are separated. The higher the value, the greater the separation. Next is gravity, which is self-explanatory. Higher values result in more pronounced gravitational effects on the bones. Now let's discuss baking. This process is a bit complex. It took me a few attempts to get it right. Start by disabling additive bake. First, select the bones with wiggle bone applied. If you directly select the remaining bones, the solving will fail after baking. Undo and correct your approach. The correct way is to select the bones with wiggle bone.
then shift select the parent bones, and finally shift select the remaining bones. This completes the baking process for wiggle bone animations. Alright, this is the wiggle bone add-in. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.